Yo, what's up guys? Here it is GTA Pupser here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, we're going to be going over something that I found that is like pretty funny in the Rockstar community and uh, with their games that actually they are trying to protest Rockstar in a bit of a fashion way. So let's get right into today's video. So yes guys, I found this article on Polygon it is like another gaming website and I came across it and it goes on to say Red Dead Online fans are dressing up as clowns to protest Rockstar. Jokes on them, literally. And wow, when I saw this article, I'm like, is this really happening again? As you know, in the past, um, in GTA 5, people were dressing up as aliens to basically... I don't, not really protest, but just start a trend. Well, it looks like in Red Dead Online, the fans are actually protesting in a way. Now, again, this hasn't, you know, spied it up on, uh, you know, GTA yet. But I think when, you know, all this gets out, I think this might actually come on to GTA as well. So the article states, all's not well in the digital Wild West. Red Dead Online fans note that it's been nearly a year since Rockstar has meaningfully updated the open world MMO, which has got people feeling expressed by content drought. But rather than just complaining about it, the cowboys of the Red Dead Online are staging the protests of sorts. So yes, this is pretty interesting to me. It just cracks me up reading this and making this video for you guys. So it looks like you can, um, in the game, can, like, you know, put face paint just like uh, GTA Online, for an example, and they're making a clown. So here's a picture on your screen of what the players are actually doing. And it's just pretty funny as well that how you protest something like this, trying to get Rockstar's attention, and maybe it will actually work. But then again, Rockstar might be laughing themselves, either at home or in the office. So again, this article did come out a couple days ago. And of course, Red Dead Online as well and GTA Online haven't received an update for a while. It's been over a year. And technically, if you look at this right, GTA Online received their update one day before Red Dead Online update. And the Red Dead on Online update was the Moonshiners. And of course, the GTA update was the Diamond Casino Heist. It also goes on this day, instead of wearing the usual spurs and the 10-gallon hats, players are opting to dress up as clowns. The definition of quote-unquote clown is pretty loose here. Except that participation can be your typical red nose, white face for rarity adjusters, but the organizers who encourage people to do think about wider circus roles. A discord group with thousands of members is treating the whole thing like a fashion contest where participations can also don the entire strong men, acrobats, mime jugglers, ringmasters, knight throwers, and more. So it looks like it's just not clowns, as the article goes on to say. They're basically turning Red Dead Online into maybe a circus role. So that, that's pretty funny, just using whatever they can find to go with a circus theme. And there's even a Discord group. Now, that's really funny to me, guys, because people can join in the fun, you know, basically you know uh, talk to the you know the people that made this and don't get me wrong a group of fans just made this rockstar did not start any of this madness it was all fan it was probably one guy or two or three or a group of people that are friends and are like hey guys we got to make some kind of discord group and just you know make something and get the whole Red Dead Online community to join in the fun. And I think they've done a great part in this, and I think they're getting tons of people to participate. Lastly, it goes on to say, Manners notes that sometimes aggressive players will call Rockstar developers clowns for mishandling the update schedule, but the reality is more complicated than that. When folks express dissatisfaction with the state of the game, dis Interaction will often restore asking why they continue playing if they're not having fun. That too makes the players the butt of the joke. We're, 
We're the clowns for expecting an update or communication, so let's have fun with that. He said, the idea soon became such a strong meme that late Jeroen, some RDR fans were painting their faces like the clowns in real life. Now, whoa, 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 you're going a little too far there, RDR fans. And I'm guessing the people that are painting their faces like clowns are the true fans. Like, they play the game every day. They're just, like, real game fans, just like the GTA Five fans since day one. And, um... Pretty much, you know, they're just waiting for an update to occur, and I don't blame them wrong on here, but again, we do have a pandemic going on, and I do think Rockstar did take this in the wrong matter. They just haven't updated their fans, you know, how they should be doing, and I really think that, you know, they should be getting this blame, this hurt on there, and I think Rockstar, you know, should come out with some kind of apology note or something along those lines to get them ready so again i think this is pretty funny and i just didn't i wanted to cover this funny news for you guys that red dead redemption fans are dealing with and of course i think some kind of way will happen in gta 5 online and when something happens you know maybe a you know clown type thing or something different along those lines again i will update you guys and lastly it looks like they had to make other discord servers on this it looks like it got so big that the discord s servers filled up and they had to make another one so that's pretty funny it looks like their success is 100% going quite well so again guys i want to hear from you in the comment section down below are you participating in this Red Dead Redemption online clown festival? Or do you think it's funny? Do you agree with it or disagree with it? I want to hear in the comment section down below. So again, guys, if you did enjoy today's video, a like rating would be super awesome. Subscribe for more GTA 5 videos like this. My name is GTA Pupser here, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.